Hello? Yeah, man. Nah, don't worry. I, I got the hands free going on. So what's up? Yeah, man, I'm not going to be able to really do anything tonight. Yeah, a long day at work, so. Yeah. What, there's a party over by my house? <laughs> Cops have already been called twice. Oh, that's nice. Anyways, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, man, I'll make sure to be safe. All right, well, we will uh, talk to you later, man. Thanks for the heads up. Bye. Yes, we just got home. Yeah. Just going to eat some dinner and watch some TV and kick back, relax. You know, one of those easy nights. All right, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Where's my phone? It's downstairs. Someone's in this house. Hey everyone, Scott here with the Illinois Prepper Channel. And as you've noticed from the beginning of this video, having a solid means of communication is actually key in many aspects of life. It allows us to communicate with friends, family, loved ones, but also to be able to report an emergency. And it's because of those reasonings that I always have my cell phone either on me or close to me. As we noticed in the beginning of the video, I accidentally left my cell phone downstairs on the kitchen table. What happened then? One thing that we all hope and pray never happens. Someone illegally entered my house and, well, only God knows what could have happened. In this video, we hear a gunshot. Was it me shooting? Was it the other person? We may never know, but that is one reason why I always have a acceptable and reliable form of communication next to me. Now I know what a lot of people are probably thinking, should I go with a landline or should I have a cell phone next to my bed? Well, both have their merits. One thing that the uh, landline has is, well, as soon as you call 911, the emergency dispatcher will already know the address and so forth. However, criminals are, well, sometimes they're smart. There are many ways that the criminal can actually make it so a landline won't be able to dial out. Cell phones, they also have their merits. Whereas, no matter what, for the most part, you're going to be able to get a cell phone signal and actually be able to call out. However, at the same time, as soon as uh, you call 911, the emergency dispatcher will not have your exact location, as far as I know. Another very important aspect that a lot of people uh, sort of forget about is also to have a cell phone charger next to the bed as well. For me, my phone charges nightly, simply because, well, if I ever do need to actually make an emergency phone call or family members calling me about a sickness, whatever, I want to make sure that I will be able to receive that call. Now, I all hope and pray that you never, ever, ever have to call 911 for a home invasion, a medical illness, whatever. However, 
working on the ambulance side of things, I know how stressed people can get. And honestly, I do not blame them whatsoever. However, there is one thing that you have to do. You have to remain as calm as you can. As soon as you call 911 and as soon as that dispatcher answers that phone, one thing that they will always ask, pretty much right off the bat, is 911, what is your emergency? In this situation with a home invasion in progress, I want to stay as calm as I can so my dispatcher can actually get each and every aspect of whatever they need to know as clearly as possible so that way they know what units to actually send. In this situation, I would be saying, Home Invasion in Progress, 124 Happy Street. From there, listen to your dispatcher. Stay as calm as you can and answer any questions that they might have for you. Thank you all for watching this video. Any questions, feel free to ask down below in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. So, y'all take care. Have a great day or night. God bless, and we'll see you all soon again.